everyone and welcome to the Free Range Diva. My name is Cheryl and if it's your first time here I'd like to let you know that I do videos on a healthier lifestyle, beauty, hair, that sort of thing and uh, I try and sort of push everything a little bit in the direction of for mature beauty but you don't have to be mature uh, to, uh, to uh, hopefully get something out of the videos that I do here and if you are interested in seeing more then hit that subscription button and that way you won't miss my next video okay everybody so how was everyone's Black Friday this was my first time um, actually jumping in usually I just ignore it and buy you know like later in December when I figure everything is gonna go on sale anyway but this time I decided to really, uh, you know, see what this Black Friday thing was all about, specifically because there were a couple of things that I wanted that I didn't think would go on sale later. But uh, I, I did. I got uh, some, I just basically replaced a few things that I needed and uh, got one splurge item and things are starting to come in uh, right now. So um, if you want to see more of what I picked up, we can do that in a later video but it just yeah just a couple of things that I needed and then uh, some Christmas gifts oh and can I just tell you that one day during that weekend I opened up my email and there were 65 new emails <laughs> all but two of which were ads were Black Friday ads so I think I may be deleting some companies uh, real soon here but yeah anyway um, Okay, so this today's topic is going to be something that I thought would be fun. I thought that I would share with you some, or actually all, of my nude lipstick collection. I was kind of looking them over and I realized I guess I have an, enough now to consider them a collection. So I just thought I'd share. So um, we're going to start uh, uh, swatching and then um, I'll give you close-ups. I'll cut in close-ups of uh, the colors on my lips. Another thing that's going on is that um, I had the flu a couple of weeks ago and since I've gotten over it, my skin has gotten so dry and so tight and so irritated that I'm actually back to basics. I'm back to using honey to wash, marula oil for moisture and shea butter on my lips. And finally, um, today is like the first day that some or part of my face or neck hasn't been irritated and in pain. So, woohoo! All right, we're going to start with a uh, my most recent edition. This is from Lily Lolo. This is called Nude Allure. This is the lightest uh, shade that I think I own. And this is more of a pink peach tone. And uh, I haven't worn it yet, but uh, I, I just got it a couple of days ago. So... Um, but it looked really pretty in the, you know, in the store, so uh, I'm looking forward to wearing that soon. Next up is, uh, this is a color from MAC. This is called Half and Half, and this is the only uh, lipstick that I have ever repurchased. Um, I'm on my second or third tube of this. This is a workhorse for me. You can see that it's a very similar pinky brown, but it's just a deeper tone than uh, the Lily Lolo lipstick. And, um, you know, I wouldn't keep buying it if I didn't think... It, it's probably the only true sort of brownie nude that I've ever been able to wear that doesn't wash me out. By the way, um, everything else is all natural. MAC is the only one that's, you know, not. <laughs> all right. This one's from Mineral Fusion, and this one is called Inspire. And this, swatch it right there. This is leaning, this is now going more towards coral. So this is what I call a pinky coral tone. Um, started wearing this this summer and have, really I wore it pretty much all summer. But it's a really, it's a good summer color. I think it can also be a really good winter color as well as just an everyday office kind of color. And in fact, that's what gave me the idea for doing uh, this video because even though it's winter and everyone's into like bold lips and things, you know, on an everyday basis, nudes are perfect. You know, they're never going to be out of style. They're never going to be out of season. 
and there are so many different um, like warm warms warms or cools or browns or peaches or pinks so this one is from Burt's Bees forgive the fact this is really on its last legs I'll kind of do like that maybe you can see it a little bit better this is called blush basin and whereas the first three nudes were more in the warm family this one is a much more neutral shade that I've it's very popular in the new in the YouTube community and as far as I can tell pretty much any skin tone can wear this at least I've seen it look good on you know pale cool warm whatever um, so yeah this is it down here at the bottom blush basin and uh, I've had this for quite a while and it's it's still good it's and is still going strong so that's one you know that's kind of like a no-brainer and in the same vein if you are no if you probably notice most of these are kind of uh, sheen have a lot of sheen uh, but I wanted to throw in a matte and so this is from Au Naturel this is called On Point this one is another neutral but as you can see it's pulling more towards that purple I wouldn't really call it cool tone I think this is a color that everyone can wear because my skin tone is as warm as it gets and it looks really good on me but um, this is almost this is almost got like a like a rose kind of brown pink tone to it but it's so pretty and it's a matte it's not like a true flat matte either it's it's got enough um, just a, a hint of a sheen to it that it gives you I think you can see in this light just a little bit of sheen but it gives you um, your lips dimension and as you know as we get older our lips tend to thin out so um, you know sometimes matte lipsticks just don't work because they make your lips look flat but this still gives you know some volume to the lips so uh, that is one that I can recommend for you know pretty much anybody next up is from a company called Bellaphoria it's a Canadian company and this color is called Mulberry and this we're now moving into the cool tones this shade is go. lighter as you can see than say on point but and not you know as I'm looking at this I think it might be less it might not be as cool as on point although when I when I put it on it's what I'm wearing today and it definitely pulls cooler on me but this one is much more of a rose toned to it and more in the cool family and I, uh, this formula I find to be a little bit waxy so what I like to do is put on a um, lip balm first and then apply this and then it goes over very nicely and then last another recent acquisition this is from Bite Beauty and this is called Saki and this one is definitely there's a hair on it <laughs> this one is definitely more of a cool toned lavender like a pinky lavender and there you can see it really good um, and this again is when you uh, you know when I'm wearing like really cool toned pinks like raspberries and things like that this uh, this is a beautiful this is a beautiful shade okay so here's all the colors and starting at the top we have nude allure but max half and half mineral fusions inspire Burt's Bees uh, blush basin au naturel on point bellaphoria mulberry and last is bites sake so that's my nude lip collection. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share, you know, on your social media because that helps me. And um, you know, if you're interested in uh, purchasing a new nude, maybe something here might uh, catch your eye. You might. And uh, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it. Everybody, uh, have a great day. Take care, and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Woo